but our real time uh, messaging is not working what we can do is we can create private message sent let's go to message sent yeah so we got this message sent event we need to create one other so let's duplicate this and prefix it with private you can name anything save and we need to change the class name you can uh, you can create this from artisan command as well but this will exactly create same thing so we got user we got message okay so in this event private message sent event which we are triggering from message controller private message sent we are passing uh, authenticated user and message the message that is just sent and this message got broadcasted on pusher so uh, what we'll do here is instead of passing the authenticated user we need a receiver's id so that only uh, the person that is receiver uh, should get that message on real time not uh, all other users all right so instead of auth user yeah, actually uh, just we don't need to pass user or anything so in here we just don't need user because user uh, so we got in message field we got a receiver id right so receiver id so only the receiver uh, should get that message and here we need to uh, construct this private channel such that uh, its name should be so that we only get uh, Let's say private uh, p chat uh, private uh, chat, okay private chat put this message and then receiver ID. All right, so only the receiver ID. So we'll listen for this channel with receiver ID. All right, so this will this message will get broadcasted in private channel. Otherwise, uh, so the group uh, message will just get uh, broadcasted on L chat. Okay, so let's go to private chat component and we are listening for L chat. So this L chat is for group chat. All right, so uh, the let's change it to user dot id. So this dot user will be the authenticated user. All right. So this user ID. So we are listening for the channel related to currently logged in user ID. So this we are broadcasting from here. Also the channel name will be the class name. So the class name is private message sent. And this all messages push. Yeah. So everything else will be same. Uh, all right. This is okay uh, let's let's create another channel route so we should match the channel name let's go to channel private chat dot this will be the id so function and we should get id so this user is uh, always passed with that which is authenticated users and id is the id whatever we pa pass from here so for whichever channel so this channel can only be accessed by so if you don't define it here it will throw a, a not authenticated or something like that error 401 error so here uh, this channel can only be listened by so this id will be the receiver id let's define let's call it receiver id receiver id so basically here we'll uh yeah for now uh that should be first thing first condition should be that user should be auth check means that should be logged in so you can add other logic if you want uh, like if user's friend uh, if this receiver id falls in uh, user's friend so currently we do not have any friends uh, relationship so that we cannot use otherwise what you can do is this and in array receiver id so receiver id should fall in user 
so users uh, friends should be array should return the array of all id related to uh, all friends id so we'll add this friends relationship later on but yeah so for now we'll just do auth check all right so with that set uh, now we uh, now the only related users should get that message so let's try it out so let's open everything side by side so if you see in console we got 403 error yeah broadcasting auth yeah so we got access denied all right so if you get uh, 403 error which is authentication related error uh, which is related to broadcasting uh, what you need to do is you need to check two things uh, one if you go to routes channel dot PSP make sure you have defined uh, the channel name correctly uh, and check if you are authorized to receive the broadcast broadcasted data via this channel so currently all authenticated user to the website are able or are authorized to receive the uh, broadcasted data or uh, broadcasted message or notification through this channel so that's one thing so you can verify that uh, so we have created event uh, named private uh, private message sent yeah so this is the event we created make sure this private set dot and then receiver ID alright so private set dot receiver ID also uh, make sure this name is correct in your front end so in front end private set dot so previously we we might have uh, forgotten to put this dot that's why it was throwing error so I have made those changes so the name is correct with ID and event name also correct so now let's test let's go to front end so let's log in with uh, so first verify uh, we are not receiving any 403 error in console let's load let's log in so no uh, 403 error so in this web dev matrix window I'm logged in with uh, web dev so let's log in with another user as well so I've logged in with three different users so in this we have web dev uh, in this web subendu in this web it is and in this web dev matrix all right so this subendu will send message to the it is all right so let's go to it is window hi it is this is subendu all right so the hi this this is subendu is sent to this on real time we haven't reloaded page but this message uh, this user which is web dramatics haven't received any message like so hi this this is subendu yeah so it is getting delivered to correct user so now this will also reply back yeah I got your message sent all right so it is uh, so we need to optimize it uh, currently we need to select the user from here so to whom user we are uh, trying to send message so we are sending to Subendu so send yeah so it got delivered to him nothing to him yeah so they are uh, doing right thing and now let's send to web dematics which is we user down here so yeah so it got delivered to this on real time nothing to him we can verify that yeah all right hi you you really long message and deliver to him yeah 
so it is working perfectly fine so we might have to uh, modify a bit on design like a scrolling thing we can change it uh, easily here so scroll to end is listening to window what we want to do is uh, we want to grab this thing only the message box let's give it id so let's target that and on the scroll <coughs> sorry only scroll that to end document dot get element by id and the id of element is this scroll to that all right so now that should work yeah so working perfect all right so one last thing we need to fix is so currently uh, for example if it is on youtube user uh, window uh, and let's say uh, it is uh, let's say subendu send the message to this guy it is and let's see what happens yeah it got displayed here right so it shouldn't belong to here it should uh, automatically take it to this uh, subendu because this sent this message right so for to make that happen we need to do is we need to uh, so on private set on this uh, event called broadcasted we need to change the uh, active friend so this dot active friend equals to e dot message dot uh, in message we got uh, the user id right so the user id on message is the sender id so the sender should be active friend because we are receiving message we are receiver at this moment so when we are receiver we want to make the active friend to the user who sent us message all right so let's save it and let's go back so let's say uh, okay so let's reload so reload all of these tab and this time let's try with uh, web matrix so for example uh, we, we send message to web matrix and web matrix is on youtube users window all right so let's send message to web matrix any new videos web dev and subu all right so let's say subu send message to this and this is with other users uh, this is setting with other users and when uh, subu set send this message it should take uh, take him to this one's window all right send all right so it take us to swim the video and web dev to subendu uh, we see yeah any new videos web dev i am subu all right all right so at this point our one-to-one -one chat system is fully functional we can chat with any user and we can do a reply so in future if we uh, we want to add some more feature to this uh, we will put videos to this playlist so stay tuned with the channel and i will see you in the next video bye